Hello! Today my beautiful and loved, beloved wife and I have a message for you again. Uh, it started when we were discussing Ukraine over the breakfast. My wife Irina here, she has relatives in Ukraine that are suffering very much from the uh, warfare there and we were talking about that. And then she said something very, very wise. And then I asked her, can you write that down so I can make a video about that? And then she said, I can say, tell it myself on a video. <laughs> Hallelujah. So that's why we are sitting here. Irina has a ministry uh, where she's working with uh, healing people with uh, pain and uh, suffering in their soul uh, and uh, she is very interested in this um, how God works with people who have wounds in their soul so Irina please tell me what you said this morning my wife yes today we were discussing this what is happening now and uh, I also had a um, conversation with my friend from America yesterday and we was discussing this <coughs> and uh, what I wanted to say is that Speak. Uh, now we are really can see that how many angry and hate coming uh, from uh, from people you can see it when you are talking when you are chatting in uh, social me medias it's also Christian people who are getting so angry to each other it just started uh, um, very terrible like communication between uh, people and uh, everybody would like to say and convinced about some truth what he are convinced to, that he thinks that this is the truth and for some people this is the most important things to convince somebody that you, your truth is not the real truth. My truth is the real truth. And people s started to uh, fight with each other, with uh, hate, with um, many bad words to wound each other. And what I wanted to say, it doesn't help in this situation. And I really passionate in, in this ministry when we are trying to help people. And what we are doing, it's very simple things. We just help people to connect God, to mm -hmm. ask God what kind of lies I still have in my life. Mm -hmm. Why I have this depression inside of me why I have so many pain, why I have this fear, when it started and who affects to, to my life, mm -hmm. who I need to forgive. This is a very simple since how we help in people, they just go through some very maybe painful situation when they uh, experience in uh, childhood it could be um, some abusing, it, it could be rejecting, it could be many bad things. And many people still have these wounds. And now we can see actually that this hate, what they are carrying all their life, now they are going up in, in this uh, discussion, this situation. And I also can understand because many of them going through very painful and stressful situation now in Ukraine, for example. And 
this what they have inside maybe was hidden and now it's up and people start to reveal what they have inside but what I wanted to say is that in these sessions when we are helping people the most important questions what uh, people have to ask God they ask what you want to give me instead of these lies when they understand that they have these lies and in this situation I have heard many answers what people rece receiving from God and I never have heard that God said to somebody then the truth is that not this person who affect your life and now you are in this situation the truth is that the other person is who affected this situation and now you have these problems he never said something about somebody about some human being who who can more or less affect your life but he always the truth what people are receiving from from god is always like i am your healer i'm always with you or it could be i'm your provider in this situation or i'm always will be your healer or protector i never abandon you and very often people have this lies that they are not deserve to have the best or they are not protected or they are uh, weak and it's not any uh, in, in these situations uh, it's not any uh, ways but God always says the truth is that I am your counselor. Mm. I will make the way with its not way. Amen. And I am your protector. Amen. I am your comforter. Amen. This is the truth. It's only one truth. It's not any other truth. It's 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 not truth that this dictator is, is better than this dictator <laughs> they are just have these roles in this situation mm. but truth is that God can help to every soul because the most important value after God this is the human soul mm -hmm. and every human soul are deserved to be saved Amen. to be healed, to be protected Hallelujah. and this is what God wants for every human being Amen. I, I believe in this and in these times we really need to go back to understanding what is this forgiveness Amen. and I believe that the Christians will raise up and will pray and will make everything what they can. Thank you. Thank you, my love. I couldn't agree more. I couldn't agree more. And when you told me this this morning, it touched me very deeply. You did so right. It comes directly from God. I say like this, there is no truth in this world. Uh, everything you receive during your day is has passed some through some kind of human filter. And it's always somebody's view on something that you meet. When you read a newspaper, you, you read the agenda behind that newspaper and you read that journalist's view. On the situation. The only true truth you can find is in this book, the Word of God. 
And I want to finish this video with uh, reading Psalm 91 because that connects to what my beloved wife said uh, about abiding in the shadow of the Almighty God. This is God's word. This is God's promise to us. He that dwelt in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of, of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in Him I will trust. Surely He shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wings shalt thou trust his truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flight by day, nor for the pestilence that walked in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasted at noonday. A thousand shall fa fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thine eyes shalt thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. Because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the Most High, thy habitation, there shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come night uh, thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee, to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest you dash thy foot against a stone. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and adder, the young lion and the dragon, shalt thou trample under feet. Because he hath set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high, because he hath known my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him and shew him my salvation. The devil can only influence us who are born again by attacking our mind, deceiving us, making us believe in lies, whispering in our mind that you shouldn't forgive this man or this person. You have to, 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 to have revenge on this. There are so many lies. But the truth is here. The truth is love. And love is God. The most important thing you can do, and my wife and I agree on that, is to spend time with God. Because He will give you everything you need in your life. Hallelujah. Thank you, my love.